welcome back to my channel and today video is gonna be a haul slash review for you guys and I promise you guys this video in my April favorites I will be doing a haul slash review on the Revlon new summer collection and I had a few stuff from the collection to show you guys and they are in here and all these products are one of my favorites or actually worth purchasing so I can't wait to show you guys and it's gonna be a haul slash review so I'll be talking on how I like them and how the formula whether it's worth um, it or not so I'm gonna show you guys right now let's get started right away so we don't have to waste any time I'm gonna save the best for last so now I'm gonna start off with this um, face products and this is Revlon photo ready bronze and chic in number 100 I think it's only one color so this one is how it look like this is how it look like this is just beautiful I love the, I don't really like the big bulky packaging but I love the actual products inside and this is how I look like there's little reef um, what is it imprint on here and there's two, as you can see there's like divided out into four colors and it's have like a light um, little tan medium and dark and there's a brush and you can see why there's four color because I aim for like the four season you can mix all this color to use or you can use them as a bronze um, you know bronzing up your face or as a contour color they are very 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 pigmented and the um, what is it the texture is very soft and silky very easy to blend as well but I find it uh, well on my face I find it after a period of time it look a little muddy to me so I'm not sure is it just on my skin but I'm gonna still tr keep it a try so far I really love the pigmentation of it it's so silky very um, easy to blend very easy to apply but after a period of time I feel like it just oxidized into my face and it just looked muddy so I don't like bronzer that look muddy on me but overall this is I believe it's $10 10 to $11 depending on what you get and I got mine at Best Last and Beyond I just love this this make me uh, like automatically make me think of the Guerlain um, terracotta bronzer the four season um, bronzer is divided out to four different shades and you can use it like all those shades in different um, season of the year so that this definitely make me think of that so much and if you most guys know what I'm talking about you guys know that it looks so much so it's very similar to it so this is really good love the fact that it's matte I love bronzer or anything that's matte products because you guys know how much I like matte products compared to like shimmer or like product with a sheen because I have oily skin and I tend to stay away from like products like that so uh, my favorite is just matte products so this is all matte there's no shimmer whatsoever so for you those of you who love matte bronzer this is definitely for you um like i said not not everyone have the same skin tone same skin type so i can't speak for you guys maybe it will work for you guys but for me i find it a little muddy after a period of time i'm still gonna keep on trying to see whether it's the bronzer or is it just my face oxidizing with it but i do find it a little muddy though Oh, overall, uh, beside my own experience, I love this bronzer. I think it's really nice, worth the money, and you can use all the shade all year long. So this is definitely a good product, and it have it come with how many gram? This come with uh, 10 gram of product. So this thing is amazing. It's tons. I really want to depot this because I really don't like the bulky packaging. They have a mirror right here, but I'm I'm not really a fan of the the packaging at all. I want to depot the what is this <laughs> the product itself well, I'm just I'm gonna break it I don't know but this is definitely something to splurge on or not splurge on but something to pick up if you guys really like bronzer and matte bronzer this is definitely to go to since it's all year long you can't use it and get a really good use of it since it lasts forever there's 10 grams of product so definitely check it out if you guys um, want to pick this up and I believe this is limited edition I'm not sure but this was on the display of the new summer collection so this was that I don't believe there's any other like shade I think this is the only 100 uh, the number 100 bronze chic is only one shade like this all right that is the bronzer and then the next two thing I pick up was the photo ready Revlon photo ready 
blush and this is how it looks like it looks so so cute when i first um take a look at this on the display and i'm just like i just have to have it because the color is just amazing it's like screaming out my names it's very vibrant as you can tell this is how it looks like in the pot and the one i have the orange one right here is coral reef and this one is fl uh, flush in number 200 and number 300 there there's three total in the new collection one um, there's another one it's like a nudie uh, nudie natural colors which I really want that one but I can't get my hand on it because it was sold out but I, I'm glad I get this too because this too is so nice this is how it looks like I'm going to show you guys and this is the actual products this thing is really really pigmented I'm going to show you guys that right now and that is how it looks like oh my gosh okay as you can tell it's really really nice on the skin I love how it's a cream blush but when you apply it on it's, it's becoming to feel like more of like a powdery blush instead so I love love that it lasts really long on my face like probably six um, six to seven hours is still on my face so I do like that the it's I don't find it as easy applying with a brush at all I feel like <coughs> it doesn't give that really nice color like the the pigmentation as I wanted so the best way for me to apply this is with my finger my clean finger I will just t um, twirl this and then dab it on my face and then blend it out and I feel like it just give me beautiful color I love the paint it's just a really nice pop of color and the orange is perfect for the summertime so this too is just really really nice and there is so much products in this this will last for a long time as you guys know when it's come to cream blushes you it's more of the dewy finish with this particular cream blushes it doesn't give you that dewy finish it gives you that more of like the satin um matte finish so i really enjoying this and this is just really good for summertime so it lasts longer so definitely recommend this if you guys love cream blushes or love blushes this is definitely to try out and the colors to die for and like I said, both of them are, um, what is it, no shimmer whatsoever. It's more of like um, a matte finish when you apply it on. So love, love this. Alright, so I saved the, was it the best for last? And this is what I picked. I, I think they came out with more like eyeshadows and stuff. But I wasn't interested in the eyeshadows or whatever. Because I have way too much. So there's no way I'm going to pick up any eyeshadow. Anywho, I picked up this. And I was when I saw the display for this, I was like, okay, I just have... To get it, the, all the colors just screaming, like perfect for the summertime. I love, love it. So this is what I'm talking about right here. I got five in my hand and this is Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain. This is just like the Revlon lip stain with the balm at the end i'll show you guys i talk about this a little in my april favorites if you guys didn't remember that you guys can check out the videos but this is how it looked like and this is the old version where you have the stain on one side and then they have you have a little balm in one side which a lot of people don't really like because the balm usually break off very easily when they try to apply so revlon come out with this thing and honestly, a lot of you guys went nuts when I post this on Instagram. You guys will say, what is that? Oh my God, is that just like the tart lip surgeon or is that just like the clinic chubby stick? And this thing is so comparable to the tart lip surgeons. Like I said before, my favorites, um, April favorites, I don't own clinic chubby stick, so I can't speak for it, but I do own the lips, um, sur the chart lip surgeons, and it's so similar from the scent to the texture to the formula. It's so alike, and this thing costs less than this, um, so much. Honestly, I think this will be the the next hit for Revlon, just like the Revlon lip butters. But honestly, if I had to pick, I would pick this over the um, Revlon lip butters any days. So this is how it looked like. I'll show you guys. This is the packaging, very very similar compared to the lip, uh, the tart lip surgeon, um, almost like a light surgeon. This is the packaging. This is how it looked like. So so cute. I love it. You can twist it up for more products. So I like that. It's really really convenient. You don't have to sharpen or anything. And this is how the tart lip surgeon look like. Very very similar. Same concept. Twist it up and it's chubby. It's very uh, so much alike. 
like the same height. The Lip Surgeons is 3 grams while the Revlon Crispo Balm Stain is only 2.7 grams. So it's less than the lips, um, the uh, Tarte Lip Surgeons but it's very alike. This is how this pink one looks like. This one called Sweetheart in 025. I believe there's 10 colors from the collection or, or, or on the display. So this is the color I have, Sweetheart. I hope you guys can see that. <coughs> and this is the color. It's really, really nice. It's pigmented. You can wear it very sheer or you can build it up to the color that you like or however the color look like in the tube. And the smells of the Revlon and the Tarte smells so darn similar. It has the minty um, smells um, that minty kind of uh, feelings on your lip when you apply so honestly if I have to find a dupe for the Tarte Lip Surgeon this will be the dupe for it so this is Sweetheart I love that color I had the I wear I had a picture of that color on the Instagram when I wore it and a lot of you guys love the color and the next one I have right here is like a nudie mauve color in 001 in Honey and this is the color right here, like the mauve color. As you can tell, it's the bomb stain. It, when you took it off or when it, when it wear off, it still have that tint of color on your lips because it's a stain. And I guess it's like they combine the bomb and the stain together. That's why it's called bomb stain. And it's, it's so moisturizing. I love that. But I'll get into more detail about that in a little bit. And then the next one I have is Romantic in 0045. And it's this really nice red one. Oh, it's like a cherry, like you just ate cherry kind of red. I love it. That's that. And then next one is 035 Charm. A peachy nude color. Love this. And surprisingly, this color really worked for me. It doesn't wash me out. And that is the color. Oh gosh, I don't know if you guys can see it. Right there. Last but not least is this really... Oh, I love this color. 040 um, Rendovis. And it's a really nice true orange color. Love this. Tell me, isn't that color not perfect for summer? Oh, I love, love this. So this are the five colors I picked up so far. And I absolutely love them. They have more colors that it just look amazing. I can't wait to get all the colors. This it's definitely worth the money or worth the investment in. They're only six fifty, six dollars to seven dollars at like different drugstore. I got mine at um, Bed Bath and Beyond because I noticed my Bed Bath and Beyond always have the newest collection out um, compared to CVS or Walgreens. Always get it later than that. So definitely something to take a look at or try on because the pigmentation is there the texture the formula work really well it keep my lip very moisturizing and the color lasts for a really long time and even when it wear off um even when it wear off it still leave that really nice um hint of colors on your lip because it's a stained finish or it's a stained formula so i do think it's worth the money just like the revlon lip butters but I find the Revlon lip butters dry out on my lips more than this. This doesn't really dry out on my lip. It keeps my lip really moisturized and very hydrated. And the, the what is it, the scent and the, the feelings of it is really nice than the Revlon lip butters. Well, that's my opinion. Since I own almost all the colors of the Revlon, I just think this thing is worth picking up. It's worth trying because it's so much comparable to the high-end products. And with the less than, what, three times the price of the lip surgeons, the lip surgeons. So definitely pick it up if you have a chance or you have seen this because I feel like this is going to be the next hit. Even, you know, better than the Revlon lip butters to some people. So like I said, right... As of right now, I'm not sure if they're going to become a limited, like it's going to become permanent. But as of right now, I believe it's a limited edition because not a lot of play, uh, places have them yet. And I think majority of you guys have not seen them um, when because when I posted up on Instagram no or Facebook, no one knows what this is. And everyone was really excited to see like the color and swatches and stuff I, I post on my Facebook and Instagram. So you guys want to see like pictures of like the colors and stuff, check out my Instagram and Facebook. 
but this is my little review on them I love them and I enjoy them I can't wait to pick up more um, of the colors to show you guys but that is pretty much it for now I hope you guys try like take a look at all this new products from Revlon uh, from Revlon because honestly Revlon do make great great products and I, I do adore Revlon um, products a lot so Check them out if you have a chance. I think they're all worth it. All the collection are just amazing. So this is my little reviews on it. Hope you guys enjoy this little review. Like I said, I try to break down all my products. Um, if I have a lot of them, I try to break them down by all the brands and stuff and do a review slash um, a haul slash a little review for you guys to know my you know in-depth detail about them and whether they're worth the money or not. That is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoy and hope you guys go out and pick them up and give them a try. And anything, leave me down, comment down below if you guys try them and if it works for you guys. Alright, so you guys know where to find me. Follow me on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram if you guys want a picture update or ask me any other question. But besides that, I see you guys in my next video. My next few videos are going to be giveaway and um reviews and hauls so stay tuned for that